There you go. Lovely stuff. Right. Uh, for the most part, I think we are all in, so that's lovely. So in today's session, we are looking at ballroom chi. Uh, and with that, we're looking at all of the types of balancing things that we have with our ballroom and also our Latin technique. So it makes it very, very particular um, uh, for us ballroom dancers, but really any dancers as well. And also, it's a great way just to um, learn general movement, but get a real good understanding of your balance. Trying to get a little bit more strength in there is as well, with things like your ankles, your posture and things like that. And also you pick up some nice little technical knowledge as well. We're going to be running through parts one, two, three and four for what we've done so far. So believe it or not, we've done four different types of sessions. We're going to gel them all into one session. It won't take very long. This is nice, light, gentle work. We can learn a little bit of form in Latin along with uh, the essence of what we're doing with our balance. Okay, so we're going to kick off from the beginning. So we're going to start off just by understanding, okay, our uh, sort of um, uh, posture flow, all right? So what I want you to start off by doing is having your feet about a hip width apart, all right? And what's going to happen is we start by allowing our weight just to come up and back down, all right? So we're only doing this lightly. We're not getting into full rise and fall. So we're here just getting a good understanding of where the pressure is in our feet and that nice ankle extension going through, but just a little light one to start with. And what I want you to start doing is working through your arms. So you're gonna go through your arms and then bring them back down again. We're gonna bring them up just above the shoulders and then bring them back down again. So bring them up above the shoulders and back down, okay? And as you can see, I'm not getting a lot of rise, okay? I'm not getting a lot of fall. We're working just on creating that nice posture, all right, and lifting up through the center. So that's what we're looking at, okay? And we get this lovely element of breathing as well as we go through this. So you breathe out, and you breathe in as you go down. And breathe out, and breathe in. And we're really warming up those ankles, and out, lovely stuff, okay? So that's part, that's the first step that we have is our posture flow into going through. Um, other things you need to try and remember is to always try and make sure, okay, you're lifting from the center, all right? So from here, imagine where you've got your uh, sticky out ribs, they're staying nice and lifted as you rise and they're staying lifted even when you go down, so we never collapse as we go through. What's going to happen is we get this lovely movement going through to the side, and we're now going to break it into a sideways section. So we're just going to take it into a step. Again, no rise or fall is needed. We just take everything out to the side. We collect our weight, and then we bring our arms back to a cross, because we want to start trying to keep, and we're keeping it out. So we're keeping the uh, elbow extension out here, okay? And then we take it out to the side, and through. And again, we get this really lovely flow that's coming through the body, as we go out and we change it as we go through. We wanna keep that connection in the floor with the feet the whole time. If you need to step it because you're on carpet or anything like that, you can do, all right? If not, you're gonna slide your feet side to side, opening out through. Just close your arms here and we're gonna go out the other way. That's it, so we open out this way. And I want you to feel nice and feeling of being nice and expansive, all right? So we're here, nice and expansive, and through. So really try and hit that nice limit, going out, and bringing it back in. Lovely, good stuff. What's going to happen is now we're gonna work on section three, which is gonna be our diagonal checks, okay? Now we've got this in two different alignments. So again, this is where we come into the center of things. I'm going to be your mirror image, okay? So I'm going to do exactly what you're going to do, just the mirror image. You're doing it at the screen. I'm going to be talking about what we call diagonally to centre and diagonally to wall, all right? So when you're looking at me, all right, you're facing your line of dance, okay? So that means when you turn to your right, okay, just to a corner. So if I change over this way, okay, so if you turn over to your right a little bit, all right, and we're facing this angle, all right, we're facing diagonal to wall, okay? Back to line of dance, and then we've got diagonal to center, all right? So you've got line of dance this way, feel like a bit like cabin crew, all right? Line of dance this way, okay? Diagonally to, uh, to wall this way, okay? And diagonal to center 
this way, okay? So we're gonna start off by going towards the wall to start with, okay? So remember, I'm mirroring what you're doing at home. We're in this position, we're gonna go into our flow, so our position flows from P, okay? And we're gonna to go towards the wall, okay? So we're gonna to go towards the wall, and then bring it through, change weight, and then go back through with the other foot. And again, we get this nice crossover, nice step forward, and I want you to really work at trying to create your middle, your center to go forward, feel that forward streak, and then come back, okay? Get that nice exchange going through, and then coming back in. That's it, and change out, make it nice and big, and through. So now breathe out, so breathe out, and in, and out, and in, last one, and out, and in. We're now gonna go diagonal to center, okay? So we're gonna go diagonal to center, and bring through, change weight, bring out, and step through. Get that nice feeling going through the body, out, and in, that's it, and out. If you can use a lovely heel lead, and a toe release going forward on that foot. Get that nice technique in there. Bring it through. Really working on that balance. Change of weight going through. Lovely big arms. So nice big arms. And through to close and center. Okay. We then, okay, start building on our rise and fall. So we go up and we go back down. Okay. And we start mirroring this with our arms up and down. That's it. And up. We're doing this in a narrow position with our feet to start with. And up and through. We change to our practice hold position, up and down. So we do a lot of our actions from here. Breathing out and breathing it in. Breathing out and breathing in. Breathing out, breathing it in. We take one foot to the side and we can start adding rotation as we now start to go down into the knees and get this rotation inwards, go into the knees, changing it out. And again, feel it through the ankle, the pressure through the feet and pushing out, get that nice extension. Now try and keep that attachment to the floor from here. So that's, that pointed foot, okay, isn't moving anywhere. Down and stretch, down, and stretch, last one, down and stretch. Good, so that's what we have as our first section, right? So that's why we're looking at your posture balance section, all right? So that was part one of what we did so far. So what we're gonna do is just tie it all in together as a nice little neat routine. You can do that as many times as you want. And what I would like you to try and do at home, certainly to try and practice, is to Carry on those actions. So don't just do it once. Try and see how many times you can do it. It's a routine. Each section we do is a routine that you can practice and utilize as those exercises at home, all right? So we're gonna start off going into our posture flow. So are you ready? So feet slightly wide apart, but we just go up with the arms, little light rise with the, with the feet and back down, and up, and back down. So nice little lift, and this is allowing us to extend and back down, that's it, and extend, and back down. We do weight changes. So from here, we do our flow side weight changes, and back through, that's it, and out, and through. We're gonna keep our arms crossed, we change the other side, and now we open out. So we open out, one, that's it, good, and back in for two, back out for three, that's it, out for four, stay into this position. We're gonna to turn to face diagonal to wall and we step out, so we go out and back in and change. We go out and we go in and change. Go out and in and change. Last one, through, change diagonal to center and out and in, that's it, good. And out, and in, and out, and in. Get this lovely understanding, and out, and in, and close. We're gonna change into our rise and fall, so we lift up, and we go back 
down, we go back up, we go back down, we go to our practice hold, we go up, and we go back down. Last one, go up, we go back down, we take it to the side, side, rotate and through and point, side, rotate and step and point, side, rotate and step and point, last one, side, step, replace and point. And then from here, you go back into your knees, lift back up, okay? And you go from the very beginning, okay? So you go right back down to those position, okay? So the posture flows that we have right at the very beginning. So we're gonna move into our second section now. So whilst doing this, oh, we've got a few people on uh, on YouTube. All right, so lovely stuff. That's exactly what we want. I might say hello to us on YouTube. All right, so what we're gonna do next, okay? So this is part two. We're going to start looking at taking a, a, a bit more of a, an awareness of our movement, okay? So what we're looking at this is that our movement positions are where we're changing our body lines, where we're rotating for our body. So from here, we just got into this collection. We're going to go into our practice hold, all right? We're going to take our first one, which is into side leading. So from here, can you see that I can get a little bit of extension just through my elbows, all right? And that's try not to fall over. All right, that's it, I saw it. <laughs> All right, so just from here, can you get that nice extension going through the ribs to the side? Okay, it looks a little bit like a magic trick. All right, but what's going to happen is as you take your step to the side, you're going to extend out with that side leading and close to change weight. And then you go the other way, get that nice extension through to close weight and through, close to extension to change weight and through. Close to change extension and close weight. Lovely. So we get this nice extension going through with the ribs. From here, we're going to go into our CBM. Okay, so CBM checks. So when we're talking about CBM, we're talking about the upper body doing the work. So we're going to go forward and backwards with our feet, and we're just going to get this nice rotation coming from the body, returning the weight and coming back. Step through the body and returning back through. You can extend this and make it a little bit more glamorous if you want to. So you can bring out the arms and get that nice extension going through. And step, that's it. And out. And step. And out. And step. Okay, we want to come back to our nice practice posture, all right? We're now going to take your mirroring at home. So you're going to be using your right foot, okay? And what's going to happen is you're going to step across the body. So from here, you're going to go across the body at a diagonal. So we've worked on that going towards, okay, suddenly you're going to your center, okay? So you're going towards your center in this position. All right, we're going to keep the posture completely straight, and we're going to come back and through. Now, this is what we call CBMP. So we're using our body, our lower body position, to change the position of our body. So we go across the other way. And through. So they're like little lunges, but from here, we're going across the body, and we're keeping our body weight, okay, so our position, our frame forward. So we go across the body from our feet and change weight. Across the body and change weight. Across the body, that's it, and through. Across the body, yes, nice, okay? So you get that lovely position, you get very aware of where you're going with your shoulders. Okay, uh, in the first one, you're doing shoulder rotation that's coming through with the ribs. And then the second time you're doing it, you're going through with the waist. The waist is changing the direction, taking that step either way when you're going into those checks as they go through. Okay, we start to get a little bit more movement now. The first one that we do um, doesn't have uh, sort of like any rotation, right? So linking in with the previous check, okay, so we're here, we go to American Smooth Swivels. So what's going to happen is we go across the body, all right? And then as an add-on, what's going to happen is we're going to step to the side and replace. And I want you to feel that your body stays in the same position. So don't rotate the body this way. So you keep it nice and flat, facing your line of dance. Then you go step, you go across and change the weight to go to the other side. That's it. You go step, change the weight to go to the other side. So you're going across the body, so heel, toe, toe and we want to get this nice action throughout the foot if we can if you need to place it 
because you're on carpet and you can't swivel, then that's absolutely fine. So you can go heel, toe, toe. So we get this nice CBM action. Sorry, CBMP action going through the body. Set through and side. And obviously, if you've got more space, you can really go for that extension and extension. That's it. And extension. That's it. Good. Being there and step and through. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to start adding in our shoulder rotation. So we're going to keep it across as we go through here. And then from here, when we take our side step, we're going to rotate our shoulders to go through. So now we're changing our body alignment. So from here, my upper body alignment's changed. And we're going to do it so it goes back across the other way. So now you're hitting towards your center, center, and change. Okay? You're now going to step towards your wall, step and change. Get this nice rotation with the body. We get this full rotation here. And again, can you see where I'm keeping my foot on the floor? Step and through, step and through. Get this rotation through the body. Again, through those heels. Heel, toe, swivel, heel, toe, swivel, heel, toe, swivel, heel, toe, swivel. Lovely. And then we build up onto the last one. So this is the last one of our little ballroom set. So this is section six of our uh, movement positions. And this is adding in a spin turn like effect. So from here, we use the first step of our American swivel here. And then from here, we're gonna close our feet and use the body to collect. As you can see, I've gone into a little bit of rise and then I've settled back down. And I've settled back down onto my back foot. So now I can use my front foot to take that next American swivel, but close my feet and turn and collect. Do so this nice big swivel action like a spin turn. So you're gonna go forward, through, and you can get that nice heel step if you can, and through, and you use your shoulders to rotate as you collect. Step, rotate, and collect. Step, rotate, and collect. Last one, rotate and collect. And we're really trying to focus on getting a nice little squeeze with our feet. So we step through, squeeze of the feet, and through, step, squeeze of the feet, and through. So we're really understanding where our feet is and how we're using our body to rotate. Oh, good stuff. Okay, so again, tying in all of those actions together, putting them into a little routine, it'll look just like this. Okay, so we're going to try it all together. So we're going to side of our lead. So side and lead together. Side, lead together. Side, lead together. Side, lead together. Okay. From here, we're going to go into our CBM check. So from here, we're turning from the shoulders. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Keep it nice and even. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. We're going to take it across the body, go across to your center. So center, cross, keep the arms exactly the same. So these are your CBM checks. Through and change. Step, through and change, keeping the body in front and through. Okay, from here we're going to go into your American smooth swivels. So step, keep the body where it is, step. Keep your body where it is. So this is just your feet and your hips moving across the body. Feel that nice little twist through. Now we have the rotation. Step, rotate through the body. 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 We're gonna go into the spin turns. We're gonna go forward, spin turn and round. Through, spin turn round, three, that's it, and four, back, round. And if you bring it back to the center position, looking at your line of dance, you'll be able to go from the beginning and work all the way through. So you can go through to that section of the side leading, getting that nice side through the body, and that's gonna be excellent stuff, okay? So, we have now done our first section, which is our ballroom, okay, and looking at our posture. 
We've gone to our second section, okay, which is then looking at how the body uh, uh, moves in certain positions, so side leading and things like that, CBM, stuff like that. And now we're going to be looking at Latin, okay? So in Latin, we're going to be working on how to move, okay, again, this is transitional, how we move our body in Latin, okay, looking at our spine. So this is where I want you to place one hand just like this, okay? And what's going to happen is you're going to take a side step. So you're going to take your side step like that, okay? And as you do your side step just like that, you're moving your center. And again, move the other hand and push it that way. So be very aligned where the center of your body is and feel like you push it. That's it. And push it. Now, when your feet are apart, there is a large change in what happens through your center and your movement. But can you see I'm not sticking my hips out or leaning over? I'm going to take nice uprights. So imagine you've got a string here, but you're pushing the string, okay, over. Okay, pushing it over. And when you get this nice wide base, okay, it works out really well. When we start making it smaller, so we start bringing in the foot, what I want you to see, can you still see that we get this lovely action side to side, which isn't created from the hip. It's created from how I'm moving my center. So from here, I've got this very small little step moving to the side, okay, changing my weight over, but I'm moving it through the spine, through the spine, through the spine. And now I can start to move that center more and my steps start to increase. So I'm here in this position and here and here. That's it. And here. And we get this nice side action, side to side action, just like this. Good. Nice. Well done. So what's going to happen is we're going to start turning this clockwise. So when we turn this clockwise, we step over to the side, okay? What's going to happen is that you're going to turn to the right, okay? So what happens by that? So if I face the front, so I'm doing the same way as you, we're going to start and we're going to go over, uh, sorry, we're going to go this way, okay? So we're going to start going clockwise. And so now as we take our left foot to the side, we go towards the camera, okay? From here, we're going to use our right foot to then face the back of our room, okay? That's it, good stuff. So if I can see you at Zoom, I can see you. It's like you watching me, I can see you now. Okay, and then from here we're gonna take our left foot to the side, okay, and we end up facing, okay, the new wall. Okay, and then you take your right foot to the side, and now you face back to your line of dance, okay? So we go line of dance, we turn to face the wall, wall, we face Back in line of dance, so we face the opposite way. Now we face your center, center. And again, try and keep those arms moving, and then back to line of dance. So try it one more time, so to the side. That's it, to your wall. Back in line of dance, facing your center, and back through. And now what's gonna happen is we're gonna change it the other way. So we're gonna go anti-clockwise. So we're gonna go over to our left, okay, facing line of dance. Now turn to face our center, center. Now face back in line of dance, so face the back. That's it, then from here we then turn to face our wall, and then we're back to facing our line of dance. Okay, so we're back in this position. Then do it one more time, so face the center, face back in line of dance, face the wall, and then face the top, okay, as you go through there. So as you're doing that, it's really important to have a good understanding of which direction you have, all right? In some of our online lessons, I've given you uh, alignment cards, which make things slightly easier to follow. So if you want to use those, then you can do. It will really help, all right? So if you're not too sure, you're not too good on your directions, you can always use the cards to help you direct you around the room, all right? So then we move on to the next little section, all right? So you've done a clockwise version, then you do anti-clockwise version, all right? So then after that, we're then just going to nice little, um, really, okay, um, uh, we go to spine flows, okay? So spine flows with the arms. So we're gonna treat it a bit like a cucaracha. So uh, I believe we've just finished our weight here, okay? So what's going to happen is that you're going to use, okay, a cucaracha action, and you're gonna go nice and wide, okay? And then you're going to change the other way, 
and go through. Okay, so we get these nice two wide arms. And again, we're moving the weight over from our center, but the only thing is now is we're adding arms. So we're gonna go nice and wide, nice and wide. We're gonna go nice and high, nice and high, nice and high. We're gonna go forward, forward. We're gonna go forward, and then we're gonna go place, and then we're gonna go place to the side, okay? And then from here, we're gonna start all over again. So we're gonna to go to the side, wide, wide. We're gonna go up, up. We're gonna go up again. We're gonna go forward. We're gonna go forward. We're gonna bring it to the hip and to the hip, okay? Nice stuff, okay? And then, all right, what happens is that from there, we go into your uh, uh, your shoulder pivots, okay? So I slightly forgot, slightly forgot, okay? So you go into your shoulder pivots. So from here, you've just done that last little bit. So from here, what's going to happen is you need to use your shoulders, okay, to make sure that you twist in the right way. So you've gone here. So what's going to happen is you're going to switch your shoulders inwards, okay? So you're going to switch your shoulders inwards, and then you're going to switch your shoulders outwards, okay? So you're using your shoulders to get a helpful element of rotation. We step to the side, okay? And again, we're going to turn the shoulders in, shoulders back out, and we step to the side, okay? And we go change, change, and side, that's it, and change, change, and side. So you can do that by keeping your hands on the side. It always creates a nice little pretty look, okay? Some of you like proper posing at home, all right? But um, it's, it's always nice to see. And you get this lovely, nice little double rotation, and that's coming from the center, okay? So it's really important that you get that in um, at all of your turns and things like that, and that's where it's gonna be most important, okay? So let's just go from the beginning and go through each stage, okay? So we've got our spine changes. So we're gonna go over, take a big step, take a big step. We're gonna make it smaller, so we're gonna make it smaller, make it smaller. We're gonna do a couple on the spot, so on the spot, on the spot, we start making it bigger, bigger, and bigger, and bigger, and then from here, we're now going to start going into our natural settings. Okay, so from here, you step to the side, side. Okay, we're going to start turning clockwise. So you turn and turn and face the back. Face the new side, back to the front. That's it. And side and face the back, face the side and face through. We turn back to go side. We change, we change again, new side, face the front, one more time, so side one, side two, side three, side four, we do the arm, so wide arm one, wide arm two, lift on three, lift on four, forward on five, forward on six, arm one, arm two, and out one, arm two, arm three, arm four, arm five, arm six, arm seven, arm eight, and switch, and switch with the shoulder, shoulder and side, shoulder and shoulder and side, shoulder, and shoulder and side, shoulder and shoulder and side. There you go, okay? That's looking lovely. And again, you can always go through, and um, especially on YouTube, you can go through, you can go through these patterns as many times, but learn the routine and then move on to the next section, all right? So move on to, the, learn the routine, do it as many times as you can, put a little bit of music on and see if you can repeat the process. So we're going to go through our last little section. So the section number four. So the last one was um, uh, looking at our centre movement in Latin. This one, we're looking at our alignment compass. So this is how where we're stepping, where we're travelling to. So 
You're going to be facing the front. You're going to use your right foot at home. I'm going to be your mirror, remember. And you're going to step simply forward and backwards. So you go forward, replace the weight, and then close your feet. Okay, you're going to use the other foot and step, replace the weight, and close your feet. We're going to step the foot back. So you go back, replace the weight, and close your feet. Back again on the other foot, back and through and close. We move it to the side and took a go up, just side, replace and close. Side the other way, side, replace and close. We're now going to take our foot and we're going to take it this direction. So we're going to go into a nice corner section here. So you're going towards your center, replace and close. Change it to the other side, center, uh, sorry, dive into wall and back. We're going to take our, uh, your right foot backwards. You're going to turn back to the wall, back to a diagonal to wall, and close. And we go back towards that center for the last one, back towards diagonal center, and close. Okay? So what I want you to try and think about as well is how you're using your feet. So can you see that I've got a slight little tight V? That's what we're looking for to make sure our foot alignment, okay, keeps our balance better. We're doing everything slow. So we're going to go forward on that right foot. So start already in that tight V shape, and then from here, step forward. So you're going to go step one, replace and close. Step two, replace and close. Back three, replace and close. Be very cautious how you're moving your center, forward and back, it moves to the side, and two, three, and four, one to the other side, two, three, and side, we're going to go diagonal now, so diagonal one, forward and through, diagonal two, forward and through, we reverse it back, and back, replace and close, change over, back, replace, and close, change over. And then again from there, you can go through the top, okay? So that one is very much looking at the way that we use in a flat dance Latin. You're working it, trying to create that nice action of snapping as you go forward, that nice element with the feet, and keeping it nice and tidy, and being very accurate about where you're stepping each time, okay? Just a little bit more about the direction on the diagonal ones. Because we've got this tight B shape, when you take that step forward, can you see that my front foot, okay, is going straight forward here, okay? My back foot has this rotation through the side, and this gives a very, very confident, good step through. So I've traveled at a diagonal to do that, okay? And as I replace my weight to close, and I change through the other way, I'm gonna make sure my foot, again, goes and looks like it goes straight forward, whilst my back foot also looks like it's turning out. Creates a very strong center, nice, strong core, and you can really balance through the body here to turn the weight and through. Same thing going backwards. Back here, can you see that I get this nice point, not pointing that direction, but actually facing the front. So I'm here in this position. Okay. Then as I return my weight to then change over, I can go back. And again, I can place my foot nicely in front. And this looks really nice. I can use my shoulders to return back to normal to then go back to the top, okay? So we're gonna try this one more time, just that last little section. So we're looking at our line of compass, we're doing our line of dancing, going back to the side and to our diagonals, okay? This time I'd like you to have your arms out all the time, and if you want to allow a little bit of hip movement, a little bit more hip movement, then you can do, right? So as you go in from here, you can always let a little bit more action going through those hips. Are you ready? So forward and tap right foot, and uh, one, that's it, and replace, step forward on two. Two, step, replace, back on three. So three, step, replace, back and four. Four, that's it, to the side, and five. You can let that hip action go if you want to. And six, and through, forward to diagonal center, diagonal center, and through, and diagonal to wall, step through, change back to wall, two, three, four, and get those nice neat feet, two, three, and four, and change, okay? And then you can return back as many times as you want and do that as you go through. Everything that we've worked on today, okay, will have a huge impact into your ballroom dancing, all right? So we've got another, officially we've got another four sections, okay, coming up, but this is sort of like a roundup of the first four. All right, try and think of this as a big chapter, all right? 
So you've got the four different actions, two in war and two in Latin. We've worked on just the sheer movement of the body, shifting it over, a little bit of footwork in terms of trying to use the heels when we can and things like that. But we are working at mainly moving that body and being very, very secure about the direction that we're going in. And that's going to be paramount to making sure you have a really good dance. All right. So I'm going to leave that there. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. All right. I hope that you use this as much as you can. Go over, all right, if you want to repeat any of these sections, you can always head over to our YouTube account, okay, and then it will be there, ball and chi, live, all right, and you can go through all of these little sections. So if you just want that little bit, okay, you can just keep going over and going through it, listening out for all the little tips I gave you at home, all right? So um, other things that I need to uh, mention is the fact that, um, this is sort of like a little ad bit at the end, um, is the fact that tonight we have our um, hair, uh, masterclass with Natalie. So if you're wanting to learn how to really create a nice sleek look with a nice low bun, making it all nice and shiny, that's it, I've done some homework, all right, I know how to describe hair, um, then you can go and sign up to that tonight, okay? Um, I won't be joining in because I haven't got enough hair. Um, but uh, we also will have PE tomorrow morning, followed then by our um, also... Latin class as it goes through. Sorry, it was in there somewhere. It was in there. All right. Um, also tonight we also have our uh, also another workout. So at six o'clock tonight. So if you want to get hot and sweaty just before uh, doing your hair, then you can come and join us at six o'clock. That'll be over on the Zoom. So if you follow the link below, then you'll be able to do that. But apart from that, I think that's pretty much I need to uh, sort of say for the next couple of days. Apart from we've got our kids' class on Friday and Saturday, check out that as well. But there'll be plenty of posts over on our Facebook and Instagram accounts. Oh, I think that is it. All right, I try and remember all of these without having any sort of like uh, prop board behind the screens. Okay, but I'm going to say goodbye to you there. So I'm going to say goodbye to everyone on YouTube. So I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, how's everyone doing?